Okay, in this video, we are going to have a quick look at this little device here. It's a piece of test equipment. It's made by Drock, D-R-O-K, and it's called a signal generator. Now you power it with 12 to 24 volts DC, and it will output a voltage of 0 to 10 volts, or it will output a current of 0 to 20 milliamps, so it's a 20 milliamp current loop. So 0 to 10 volts and 0 to 20 milliamps is, a, is an industrial standard voltage protocol for controlling variable, variable frequency drives. That's what I use it for for testing variable frequency drives and testing out three-phase motors. So right now I have it set up for 0 to 20 milliamps and I have a multi-turn pot and as I turn the pot it will increase the current from, from 0 to 20 milliamps and I have an LED connected to the output. So as I increase the current you can see the display you can see my LED getting brighter and I can take it all the way up to 20 milliamps that will be the max there's my 20 milliamps, and then I could take it back down. So with this connected up to a variable frequency drive, I could control the speed of a three-phase motor by using either 20, 0 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 volts. So here's our terminal strip. So there's our 0 to 10 volts output, and there's our 0 to 20 milliamp current loop. There's a common ground. And this is our power supply input, and it will take a power supply of 12 volts to 24 volts. Okay, here's the three-phase motor that I'm working on. Now this is a one and a half horsepower three-phase motor and I have it connected up to a variable frequency drive and I can control the speed of the motor through this front potentiometer so as I turn it up you can see the display increases that's the frequency so the higher the frequency the faster the motor spins and I can take it back down to stop now this motor drives a water pump in the apple sorting plant so we take a bin of apples and we drop it into a water tank and then the apples float to the top. Now this water pump creates a stream in a trough so the apples can float down this trough for further processing where they get washed and scrubbed. Then they go through a camera and they get scanned for sizing and then they get packed. Now on this variable frequency drive we have two inputs. We have an AVI, that's a voltage input, that's 0 to 10 volts and the ACI, that's a current input, 0 to 20 milliamps. So this is where I use my drock test equipment, I plug it into these inputs, then instead of controlling the motor from the front panel, we can control it from either a current loop or a voltage from 0 to 10 volts. Okay, I've configured my variable frequency drive to accept a 0 to 20 milliamp current loop input, you can see the two wires here, into the ACI, and my front pot does not control my variable frequency drive anymore. So now I could use my signal generator that will generate 0 to 20 milliamps. I got it set up for 2 milliamps. which will start around 4. You can see the motor is starting to, to come on. As I bring my current up. So now I have control of my motor using 0 to 20 milliamps coming out of my Drock signal generator. And I can take it back down. So next I'm going to hook up the AVI so I can control the motor from 0 to 10 volts. Okay, I've configured my variable frequency drive to take an input from 0 to 10 volts. You can see I'm in the AVI input and my front pot doesn't control my variable frequency drive. So now if I take my drop signal generator and I got it switched for 0 to 10 volts. So now as I apply 0 to 10 volts, I can control the motor. There's one volt, two volts, three. I can take it all the way up, all the way up to ten, and take it back down, back down to stop. Okay, so that's my little demo on the Drock signal generator. So if you're involved with variable frequency drives and three-phase motors, it's a handy piece of equipment to have. And it's available online. You can get it through Amazon. Now, a lot of times, the variable frequency drives are mounted inside a NEMA 4 enclosure and then it has external controls on the outside of the box to control the variable frequency drive so a lot of times it is driven remotely so this is a handy piece of equipment to have to test out variable frequency drives and three-phase motors